Why uh, why'd you guys break up with your ex? Um, because I cheated on him. <laughs> it happens. It happens. And now, uh, why did you? Silly girl summer. I was I just, I was, I was just feeling silly. I don't know. It was <laughs> silly girl summer. That's exactly what it was. It was hot girl summer. It was city girls life. You see, when you're young and you get all the attention in your prime years, it only takes the right place and the right time and the right guy. And that's what it took for her. And she didn't really care because in her mind, I have options. And I will get the next boyfriend the next guy to be my boyfriend and to be my husband when I want him to be because that's how easy it was for her to be able to attract a man to cheat so in her mind that's how easy it would be to get into another monogamous relationship but little does she know is this is your track record and they think that this part of their history can be erased they think that this part of their history can change and that somehow a man is just going to completely look over what you did in your 20s because you were just young you consciously made these decisions so best believe this is who you chose to be in your 30s and whether you know it or not it's still a choice that you made and this is who you've become i'm gonna be completely transparent right now I just finished having the biggest mental breakdown and I want to talk about it. I have a friend that was in a four-year relationship and she was broken up with in March. I randomly got this urge to text her today to just ask her how she's doing and if she's feeling any better and our conversation was going on and she told me that she's already dating someone new. And I just want to preface this by saying I am so happy for her that she was able to find someone that fast but I cannot help but compare myself to that and ask myself why is it so easy for some people to date and find relationships that fast let alone that quickly after just ending a really long relationship and then you've got people like me who are in their late 20s and cannot even get someone to want to commit to them and i'm not gonna lie it really makes me feel terrible about myself like i cannot help but wonder if there is something wrong with me genuinely like is do i put forth some sort of repellent like i truly do not understand and i'm not saying that my friend and this guy are gonna actually go anywhere i'm just saying like the fact that she was just able to find someone so quickly that she likes and he likes her in return and he's willing to treat her well and take her on dates like why can't i have the same i just do not understand the way these things go and like i just wonder when will it ever be my turn will i ever get a turn well you gave way too many turns to way too many men and that's what they think of you when will it be their turn and only just to take a turn and the truth is what a lot of females don't want to acknowledge and every time you try to tell them this it's as if you're in a battlefield with them is you choose to either be a woman or a female and you can't seem to comprehend why someone or somebody else is getting a different treatment to you but here's the thing what did you do in your 20s see she hasn't hit 30 yet so she's in her late 20s but this is what her experience is in her dating so what that tells me is you have done a lot in your early teens your early prime years so much that now you feel the consequences of it in your late 20s but you can't seem to comprehend why is it that you ain't being treated the same way as other people are being treated well here's the problem you actually do have the answers to your questions just take a look back at your dating history how many guys have you slept with 
How many of them were one night stands? How many of them were situationships? How many of them were Pookie and Ray Ray? How many times did you cheat? How many times did he have a girlfriend and you helped him cheat? How many times were you the side chick? How many times were you the pick me? How many times did you not care about not being with a good man? Ask yourself these questions. I think females need to ask themselves those questions. All those questions, ask yourself. And if you even got more than one, then that is your answer. That is why you aren't treated the same way as another woman is being treated. Because of those experiences. Those experiences is not an experience that women go through. That's what a female goes through. That's what a 304 goes through. And that is why your turn has been passed and given a lot of times because you let it happen. And that's why you're here. I'm sure you've heard men tell you that you're going to lose your value after 30, after 35. No one's going to look at you. You need to hurry up and get a man so you don't become unwanted, old, angry, bitter women. And I'm unsubscribing from that agenda. And I'm going to break it down for y'all why I'm actually unsubscribing from this agenda. First and foremost, women are aging better than men. Let's just put that out there. We wear sunscreen. We take care of ourselves. We get work done. Whatever, whatever it takes. We age better than y'all. We do. And we actually go to the doctor when we have a health issue, which is why we look better at the same age than y'all do. That's one. Two, just because a woman is over the age of 30 or 35 doesn't mean she's not getting any attention, okay? Because like I just said, women age better than men. And older women still get their coochie ate. Older women still get drinks bought for them at the bar on the rare occasion that they go out. Older women still get catcalled. Older women still get attention, period. Three, the older a woman gets, the less she cares about what people think of her. You know why? Because her confidence in herself grows. She stops caring about the opinions of others. That includes what men think of her. Four, it has been scientifically proven that women who remain single and don't have kids are happier into their older years than women who get married and have kids. Which brings me to my final point. The only thing that makes a woman over 30 lose her value is having kids with the wrong man. Think about it. The only reason why men think women over 30 lose their value is because their mom lost her value when she gave birth to their dusty ass and dedicated all her youth and her prime years to taking care of your dusty ass. Yeah. That's why dusty men want to have kids so fast and they want to have so many because they know that when they give you a baby, you lose your value because you had a kid with a dusty guy. Now you have to dedicate your whole life to raising that kid. You can't just walk away. Simple. And yes, women do have a biological clock, but newsflash, Freezing your eggs is now a thing, and it's socially acceptable. So, in conclusion, age is not what makes a woman lose her value. A dusty man who gives her kids is. And that's why women are either A, waiting longer to have kids, or B, not having kids at all. Because that, you dusties, is what makes us lose our value, not our age. Our age has nothing to do with it. Okay? Makes sense now? Thank you. So she does acknowledge that a woman does lose her value, does have a prime years, and does have a biological clock. So she knows all those things are true. But here's the thing. What did that female dedicate her prime years to do? With who? That's what really either makes you or breaks you. What did that female dedicate her prime years doing? She dedicated being a woman, being a wife, being a mother. Dedicated to building skills, cultivating her femininity. Or did she dedicate it to being a three or four? Meeting different guys, doing different guys. Not caring about anything but herself and what she wants and her coochie. 
That is what really makes a woman lose her value at 30. Because if a female didn't dedicate herself to the streets, well, at 30, she is married, has children, then her value doesn't decrease, it actually increases. Because now she has a family, now she has a home, she has a husband. And whatever that comes, or whatever comes with that, will continue to increase and continue to be produced and multiplied. And she acknowledges that. That's why she said, you lose your value with who you spend your time with, who you choose to have children with. And that's the problem, is females, they dedicate their prime years to being with Chad and Tyrone, to doing whatever they wanted to do, to not being a woman, to being independent. I don't need a man. My young time is me time, fun time, good time. That's what they dedicate themselves to. So by 30, of course they've lost their value because really, what did they actually value in their prime years? Nothing. But you know what? She will say all of that. Because what she's really trying to say is females don't lose their value at 30. They still have it, but you don't have it. Because what did you decide to do in your prime years? That is what will equate your value. And if acknowledging that there's a prime years in a biological clock, then you acknowledge that at some point there will be certain things that you have that you won't have anymore. So before you don't have it, what did you do with it? And that is what will really tell you if they lost their value or not. And you will see that in the resulting of their lives after they've hit 30. See, modern females they think they can go through this transformation like as if they're transformers and change themselves with a click of a finger and be someone new but you can't and i think what will benefit these modern females if they just realize that when you take a turn there's going to be a point where you can't look back and you can't walk back you can only go forward and that's the only way they can be able to actually live at some type of peace but being in delusion is a lot more easier than that thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye